Okay, now we're going to address the third clutch drum. The clutches are out of it. Um, press the return spring. Re remove the retaining snap ring. Spring retainer. And you're usually going to have to tap this on the bench to get the piston out. Okay, um, now going back together on the third clutch drum, obviously we cleaned everything up. In the rebuild kit, all the little sub kits are marked, forward and direct clutch pack. Direct is your, your third clutch. I'll take out the O-rings that we need. Place the inner one. And the outer. You're going to have different sizes in here, some of which you'll use and some of which you won't, but you got to put the ones that are going to fit on there. As assembly lube, we have a mixture of STP and trans fluid, roughly 50 50. This is usually the best stuff to uh, put your pistons back in with. And you don't want to skip this. A lot of people just We'll bang a set of clutches in here, but you really need to change this rubber because sometimes it's damaged. And you just got to kind of ease these in here. Make sure it turns freely when it's in. Put our retainer back on. The snap ring. Then we take it over to the press. Compress it down. You either do this with pliers or by hand. Put your snap ring in, make sure it's seated. There we go. These little tabs have to be surrounding the snap ring. That's what keeps it from popping out. All right, when these kits come from us, everything is packaged together. Um, just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to leave out the step of soaking the clutches. In an automatic transmission, you want to soak all the clutches for about 15 minutes. Then I hang them on here and, and let them dry off a little bit. Then I put the clutch packs together. Okay, so we have to alternate our clutch discs and our steel discs. The parts that come in this kit are probably going to be different than what you took out. We use thinner discs here so you could get more in here. So this is a five disc setup. Your original top pressure plate and snap ring are going to get used. Again, make sure everything's correctly seated. And you're probably going to want about 30 to 50 thousandths clutch clearance. When you're done, you're going to put your washer back on. The kit's going to give you new washers. Put some transmission grease on here so it's not going to fall off. And kind of glue the washer on with that. And that's it. That's your third clutch drum. Okay, now we're going to go back together with this pump. This bushing isn't included in the kit, but they're available. And you are going to need a bushing driver set to correctly install this. The bushing gets driven in until it's approximately flush. And then we're going to check it.
we're going to put this down on the converter hub and make sure everything's nice and free. If it's tight, you really have to address it or it's going to rip out once you uh, start the engine up. Next, we're going to put our front seal in. And I like to use something flat to drive it in there perfectly straight and flush. A little assembly grease here. And on the bushing. I'm using this as a work stand. It's just a tool for another transmission. Use some more transmission assembly lube. And our gears. The gears you're going to put in the same way that you took them out. And if you get crossed up, you'll see the outer gear has a dot on it, which is going to face up. And on the inside, you could kind of see the wear mark where your torque converter hub was. So there's nothing touching there, and something was touching there. So that's the way it goes in. A little more transmission assembly lube and the stator. This we have to line up correctly and put our bolts in. Torque these to 80 inch pounds. Pump O ring. Pretty simple stuff. Now we're going to open our sealing ring kit, and there's a bunch of different sizes. There's going to be, I believe, five that are about the same size. Now whenever you're working on a transmission, you want to make sure your sealing rings are correct for where you're putting them. So we do this by getting the drum that is going to sit here and putting the rings in and making sure they're the correct size. As we showed before, they're scarf cut and these have to sit like this. So what I like to do is give them a little twist together. Kind of load up these grooves with transmission assembly grease. Try and do this so you can see it. Put them in overlapping. And these aren't like piston rings in an engine. They're going to turn where they want, so whether they're lined up or not does not matter. Kind of squeeze them in there a little bit, and then I put the part that's going to sit on there on the rings, and that kind of is going to size them. Now with enough grease, these are all going to stay held together for when you final assemble this thing.